Hello my Leos, this is Julie with Into Heart Space and we are looking at the love situation for you in April. And this is the last month that this reading will be free. After this month in May, I will be offering the love reading, the monthly love reading to my patrons on Patreon. So go to my Patreon page which is linked below and become a patron. For only a dollar a month you can get all 12 of the love readings. Um, sent to you so it's wonderful wonderful and it's only a dollar and go check out the other tiers i have personal readings i pull cards monthly for you for a really small fee and, we, and it can be for love career for general um go check out the tiers because every tier every time you go up on the tier uh you get everything on the tier below as well so it's really awesome to um, go check that out so go check it out also i'm going to have a special on instant go where i'm going to be offering a couple free readings um so i will keep you posted about that otherwise find me on facebook email me go to my website and you can actually schedule readings on my website now so uh, you can get that going all right so let's call in the highest of light the highest of energy to guide us on this reading Calling in the divine. Okay, Leo, what's the energy for my Leo relationships? We're going to start with singles, and then I'll move into couples. So this is for Leo singles with a sun, rising, moon, even a Mars or a Venus in Leo. Okay, and so I'm also just picking cards that are organic for you. So sometimes if you go to the other readings, they might have more or less cards than you. But this is purely for my Leo. So we have the Emperor. Four of Pentacles reversed and the Four of Cups reversed. Then we have the Nine of Pentacles reversed, the Five of Cups reversed, and the Two of Swords reversed. And then we have the Ten of Swords reversed. Okay. Leo, I've already done this reading for you, and it didn't take, <laughs> it uh, didn't record, so this is the second time I've done this for you guys, um, <clears throat> and it's very similar, actually, and I was hoping it would be different. Yeah, this one makes a little bit more sense, especially having the Emperor up here. I feel like that is you, even though it's an Aries type of energy, it's like you've got to move, you've got to move forward, you've got to, you know become become that strength and dur durability and also literally move some of you guys literally have to change places change places in regards to where you are searching for a partner um and where you're seeking them like change things up all right because we have the four of pentacles and it's like in a way you've been holding back you've been holding back in relationship and with um your with seeking out a partner and the reason why is you're just kind of sick of the whole scene. You're kind of sick of like having to go date. You're sick of dating and going through the rigmarole and then, you know, it not working. And so the sadness and then having to do that all again. Like you're just really kind of sick of it. And it's making you really unhappy to have to continually do this process. And, but you don't know what else to do. You don't know, like, well, how else am I supposed to find somebody and then, you know, do the same process over and over again? And so with this reading, what it's really saying is, uh, first off, you need to let go of the past, Ten of Swords. Like, you, the way you've been doing it and the people you've been doing it with are not your future. They are your past. You have to let that go and change, change it up a little bit. The Emperor is saying, you literally need to move. Okay, so I actually think, too, with the Emperor showing up, that you need to go do some physical activity to meet someone. Like, go on a hike. Go out, like, with a hiking group. Or go play baseball or soccer or something like that, where, where it's a group setting. And you're going to meet some, some people there that really tickle your fancy. Um, or, like, go, instead of going to a bar, go salsa dancing you know and dance with people like go move literally move you're, you're not meeting the people you want where you have been hanging out and you need to change it up so that you can uh meet a different a whole different crop of people <laughs> 
All right, Leo. So it's really important for you to uh, switch it up this month. Like it, it's just, I feel like you're being a little stubborn about it too. Like, well, you know, it's just kind of like, nope, well, I'm just going to keep doing this. Well, it's not, that's not helping you out. That's not solving, solving the issue of your loneliness right now. So I really like go look, what is that? There's, um, there's like a website called meetup.com. So what do you like to do? Go to meetup, look it up and then go to a meeting, you know, go meet some people, go connect with people. It's super like, that's how you're going to, that's how it's going to happen for you, Leo. In your last reading, there was a lot of things on um, letting go of someone from the past. So I feel like that might be, you know, also taking effect too, is that it's hard for you to change the process because you haven't really fully let go of someone that you loved dearly in the past. All right, heaven on earth. Okay, so this is to remind you that you are connected to the other realms, okay? That you are part of a bigger picture. And that what you see is not all there is. So once again, you need to shift your perspective. You need to shift what you see and what you do to expand your horizon. And not only in this dimension, all right? So that's another thing you could do is go to a, a soulful, you know, connection uh, meet up, you know, go to a church. If you are religious, go to church. If you, you know, aren't, then go to an amazing yoga class or a breath class, you know, do something in that regard that will connect your heart to, you know, the, the next realm and also at the same time surround you with people who are um, on the same path as you. Yeah, I think that's I think that's good. All right, I'm looking at it, making sure I didn't miss anything. Yeah, I'm feeling a little foggy, to tell you the truth, Leo, and so I'm feeling like that's how you kind of feel you're going to feel in April. It's like the universe is kind of giving me, like, the, the way that you're going to feel, and you're like, I just don't know. I'm tired. <laughs> so no, Leo, you can't be tired. You're our sunshine. <sighs> okay, well, if you'd like a personal reading, find me on Facebook, email me, go to my website, or find me on Instinct.co, and become a patron on Patreon. Let's move on to the couples. Hello, my Leo couples. This is Julie with Into Heart Space, and we are looking at your situation for love with uh, partners of Leo. So if you have a partner who's Leo, or if you are Leo, Sun, Rising, Moon, you could also have a Venus or Mars in Leo, and this would affect you. So I've already shuffled, so I'm going to pick your cards. And these cards are going to uh, be solely for you. So, you, you know, some of you guys are going to have uh, more cards than other signs. So if you have more cards than, you know, Aquarius or whatnot, it's just for you. It's solely for you. Um, Knight of Swords, King of Staffs, the Tower, and then the Page of Cups, Six of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune, the Lovers, Six of Staffs, and the Seven of Swords, reversed. You know, you are going to have a situation that's going to be a surprise in your relationship, okay? But I don't think it's something that either one of you did. I think it's a situation that's being brought upon you. And it's going to surprise you. And at the same time, I think it's going to be um, sad. It's going to be devastating in some regards. But it's actually going to bring you closer. Your partner is going to have the capacity to say what needs to be said. And is going to be able to, you know, um, step up in that regard. Because I feel like, Leo, you in the relationship... Um, You've got, you've got your hands full, you know, you've, your life is full right now. And so you can't deal with all the situations that are, are happening. And the one, and like I said, the tower, the, the tower card is something's happening. Something is bringing, bringing, like shaking your foundation. Uh, it could have to do with a child, page of cups reversed. Um, so that's a water sign, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. 
I see like teenage pages as like they they stole something they stole something from the supermarket or from like Target or something like that and it you're like dang it no or you know they called someone a name at school but more so it's I feel like it's more emotional <laughs> um, when it's page of cups it's usually emotional but it's like you didn't expect that to happen you didn't expect them to you know act that way and you hoped they would never but they did they did and so it's uh, you you and your partner are just like dang it what do we do now but the six of pentacles is, and the wheel of, i mean you have such lovely cards um is take a step back remember that they are young they are children and if it's not a child that is in your life that does this it could be somebody who's acting like a child okay and it could be at work it could be um you know, just, this could actually be that you get in a fender bender, too. And you get in a fender bender with somebody who's younger than you and throws a tizzy, you know, and, and you and your partner have to deal with that. But after that, it's after this kind of uproar, and this is going to happen within the first two weeks of April. After that, it's really going to bring the you and your partner closer together. You know, you're going to realize how close and solid of a foundation that you truly have and that this tower, this situation that happened was was actually a blessing and actually um, blossomed your relationship to the next level. And you realize that the person you're with right now is your soulmate and that you're ready to move forward with them and that they mean the world to you, you know, and that you um, you have nothing to worry about. You know, it's like, I love the Seven of Swords reverse. It's like, I, you know, I worried in the past that they were going to cheat on me. I worried in the past that they weren't going to be there for me. And you have nothing to worry about, Cancer. You know, your couple, by the end of a April, you guys are going to be stronger than you were at the beginning. And I think you're going to have, you maybe at the beginning have a couple tips and just, you know, try to work it out. But after that, man, you guys just come together stronger and better than ever. So Leo, this this is beautiful, and I think I called you guys Cancers um, earlier, which my bad. This is a Leo reading. So Leos, this is this is a really really lovely lovely reading for you. I'm excited. I'm excited for you guys, because even though you're gonna have something that happens that's tough, it's going to come together at the end, and you're just going to be goo goo gaga over each other. <laughs> Okay, so reflection. Your partner is a reflection of you. You know, everything you are is reflected upon in your partner and vice versa. And this is going to be unnerving when you realize it, and then it's going to be so comforting once you accept it. <laughs> so remember that everything you do reflects on your partner, and your partner reflects on you. And so you guys are one and the same in a way. Yes, you guys are individuals, but you also um, carry each other. So wonderful, wonderful. If you would like a personal reading, find me on Facebook, email me, go to my website. Also become a patron on Patreon and get these readings each month for just a dollar. All 12 signs so you can look up your rising, your moon, your sun, your Venus, your Mars. Okay, and remember, listen to your heart and the body will follow. Until next time, much love, joy, and blessings.